It's Learn TV. Hello, mga katropa. Ayos ba tayo dyan? Ako, ayos lang ako rito sa San Diego, California. Ako si Camion at ngayon ay mayroon tayong topic na pag-uusapan. Ito ay continuation nung nauna kong video, yung previous video ko tungkol sa Biblical Calendar or Enoch Calendar. Ngayon naman ay gusto kong pag-usapan natin kung paano ko nga ba na figure out, how did I figure out this Biblical Calendar or Enoch Calendar. So, yun ang pag-uusapan natin. Kung bago pa lang kayo dito sa aking channel, uh, I suggest that you uh, like and subscribe and uh, click on the notification bell para uh, mapanood ninyo ang kalahatan ng aking mga videos. Bago tayo mag-umpisa, iinom muna ako ng aking paboritong uh, uh, tawag dito ay golden milk, almond milk na may turmeric, uh, black pepper, uh, honey, saka cinnamon. <laughs> Sarap to. Okay. So, uh, ito pong research ko tungkol sa Enoch Calendar ay eh, nag-umpisa noong ano, pandemic, noong panahon ng pandemic, 2020. Uh, natatandaan ko, uh, March 15, yung misis ko na uh, natanggal sa trabaho dahil sa pandemic, nagsara yung mga kumpanya, nagsara yung airport, nagsara lahat na ano sila, for, 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 ano? for load yata, tawag doon, for load, eh? hindi ko na matandaan. Anyway, <laughs> tapos yung mga anak ko naman, uh, hindi pumapasok hindi papasok dahil nagsara naman yung mga eskwelahan. So, lahat kami nandito, including my mother-in-law nandito, lahat kaming anim nandito sa bahay. And, uh, so, napag-isip-isip ko, ano ba magandang gawin? Kasi, first day pa lang, naboboring na kami. Kasi, <laughs> so, naisip-isip ko, ba, tingnan ko kaya itong, ano, yung tungkol sa uh, biblical calendar. Uh, kasi, ano, at that time, Binabasa ko yung tungkol sa ano, yung Feast of Unleavened Bread sa Passover. Okay, so interested do- ako at that time tungkol doon. And uh, one of the things eh, nalaman ko na yung Passover eh, or Feast of Unleavened Bread ay gina- uh, ginagawa on the first uh, month of the year. Okay, so yun ang unang-una kong napag-isipang Uh, gawin, paano ba nagwo-work ang ang uh, biblical calendar? So, uh, let's cut to the chase, mga katropa. Kasi if I don't uh, try to uh, compress this video, it's gonna take us a whole lot of time. So, uh, I'm gonna cut to the chase and I'm gonna uh, start with two other researches that uh, are the basis for my calendar, okay? The first one was, uh, the first one is the Sadok Way. And then the second one is Nick Vanderland's uh, uh, calendar. Okay, so let's go to the computer. Okay, so uh, we are here in my computer. And what's in front of you right now Uh, is what they call the Zadokite calendar. Uh, this is the their version of the biblical calendar. And as you can see in this calendar, uh, the day the first day of the year starts on the fourth day, right there. So uh, uh, this is in line with uh, my calendar. And how I understand uh, the biblical calendar to be. Okay, so it starts on the fourth day of the first week. Uh, now, 
What's dubious about this calendar is the presence of this day here. A blank day. This is the one that I am uh, uh, curious about. A missing day right here. You see, spring equinox, a day that is blank, and then the start of the year. Okay. Uh, also, I noticed that uh, they put the full moon on their calendars, which suggests to me that they are uh, observing the moon. One other thing that I noticed with this uh, calendar is that they seem to relate the days to the days of the Gregorian days. What I'm talking about is Monday through Sunday, except that they didn't use Saturday. They used Shabbat for Saturday. Do you see what I'm talking about here? Uh, this also suggests to me that uh, Sadok Wei listened to the words of Josephus, the Pharisee. Uh, he's the one who said that uh, Saturday is the Sabbath. Or is it? Now, let's go to Nick Vanderland's calendar. So, here we have uh, Nick Vanderland's calendar. And as you can see, it is not very different from uh, Sadok Ways. And uh, as a matter of fact, he has more explanations as to how he came out with this uh, calendar. So if you're interested in knowing more about his work, uh, visit his webpage at enochcalendar.com. All right, so here we are in YouTube. And uh, we're going to listen to Nick. Uh, uh, explain the way he interprets the spring equinox. But as I fast forward this and the sun is fully risen and on the horizon, you'll notice just that the sun is not intersecting exactly 90 degrees east. And on this day, you will not get the equinox reading. And here's a screenshot of March 20th, 2021. And rather you'll see that the sun is intersected by 90 degrees east when it is fully risen and on the horizon. And on this day, you will get the reading of the spring equinox. All right. So basically what Nick is saying is that when the sun is fully risen, and out of the horizon, like it's sitting on the horizon, and it touches the uh, 90 degrees due east azimuth, that indicates uh, the equinox for him. However, I tried this approach, and I didn't like what I found. Now, uh, before we start, let's talk a little bit about the Gregorian calendar. As far as I know, the Gregorian calendar is correct in that it has 365 days a year. And uh, as a matter of fact, it's not 365, it's 365.25 days a year. That, it, that explains the leap year. Uh, also... I know that it's correct because of the uh, late spring equinox that I have observed uh, while using the uh, Stellarium software. And as a matter of fact, that's the one I wanted to uh, do physically, observe the sun physically. You know what I mean? Uh, I do have a video of how I uh, constructed uh, this year's uh, biblical calendar. And in that explanation is how the leap year, the Gregorian leap year, uh, occurs within the biblical calendar. So please check out that video. So, uh, having said that, uh, I must point out that I am looking for a P. 
pattern. And that pattern is similar to the uh, Gregorian calendar's pattern, which is uh, three normal years followed by a leap year on the fourth year. So if we assign letters to, the, to this pattern, X being normal years and Y being the leap year, the pattern would be XXXY. Okay, so it's X, 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 Y, X, 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 Y, X. Okay, so now we're here in my computer again, and uh, we are going to use uh, the Stellarium software that I have installed uh, right here in my computer. Uh, for your information, I am here in San Diego, California, and uh, we are going to use um Nick Vanderland's uh, uh, interpretation of the spring equinox uh, when he is in Jerusalem. Okay, so there are differences, but I didn't expect I don't expect much difference uh, because, well, the sun rises in the east wherever you are. okay, so let's get down here, okay and, Oops, wait, wait. What I'm going to do is I am going to run uh, Nick's uh, interpretation, okay, and see what results I get. Okay, so here we go. We, we, we start with um, what year? Uh, let's start with 2021. Okay, this is what's so good about uh, uh, Stellarium software. If we didn't have it, just imagine how long it's going to take me to uh, investigate this because I have to wait for the equinox every year. You know, it happens only once a year. Okay, so here we are on March 19, 2021. And we're going to see what happens, okay? All right. So, March 19, 2021. Is it an equinox? Yes. Okay, let's continue. So here are the results. I'm going to post it on the screen. So, uh, as you can see in the results, uh, neither March 19 or March 20, and most certainly not March 21st, did not generate the pattern that I'm looking for. If you will assign X to yes and Y to no, the pattern would be X, Y, Y, X. So it's uh, not the same pattern that I would be looking for because uh, if you run this with the Gregorian calendar, uh, it will not hold up. And so uh, as I've uh, mentioned before, 
the Gregorian calendar is accurate in that it does have 365 days or normal normal uh, year for a normal year uh, and a leap year where there's 366 days. So if it's accurate, what's wrong with it? With the Gregorian calendar? Well, everything else. <laughs> First of all, it's not in sync with the heavenly sign. Okay, which is the spring equinox. Second of all, the uh, months are all garbled up. Okay, the, there's, uh, it's named after false gods. And the days are named after uh, uh, deities or, or, yeah, false gods, whatever. So, yeah, everything else is wrong with it. The only accurate thing about it is that we've been able to count accurately accurately the number of days in a year. That's all we've been able to do. So here we are in uh, my computer again and what we're going to try to do now is we are going to run my uh, interpretation of uh, the spring equinox in the Solarium software and see what the results are uh, using that same procedure that we just used. So, in a nutshell, here is my interpretation of the spring equinox. As the sun is moving up, as the sun rises, and it's halfway, that's sunrise, you will see that the sun's body touches the 90 degrees azimuth, or due east. This, to me, suggests that this is the spring equinox that we are looking for. Now let's move on to the next day, the 20th of March of the same year. And as we observe here, as the sun moves up and it's sunrise, you will see that due east is already on the right side of the sun or that the sun is already on the left side of due east, which means this is the fourth gate. The sun is in the fourth gate, and this is the first day of the first month of the biblical year. So this is my interpretation of the spring equinox. Uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to run an eight-year uh, experiment with the Stellarium software and see what the results are uh, concerning uh, the spring equinox using my interpretation. are the results. So uh, as you can see from the results, uh, it's uh, obvious that 
March 19 is always a spring equinox. The difference is whether the uh, equinox will come in late. And as you can see, in uh, 2023, uh, right there, uh, there is still a spring equinox, which means it's a late one. So instead of March 20 being the first day of the year, it's got to be March 21st. So let me point out, if you look at March 20, you will see the, um, the uh, pattern that I'm looking for. See, if uh, X is no, then the pattern being produced here is X, 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 Y, X, 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 Y, which is what I'm looking for. So, mga katropa, I just presented to you no, kung uh, paano ko ginawa yung experiment ko, how did I come up with my calendar, and uh, all this in an effort to explain to you how I figured it out, okay? But then there this, there's this one thing that I haven't really mentioned. So, how did I figure out sunrise? So, uh, Mr. Vanderland thought that sunrise is when the sun is fully up, meaning it's cleared the horizon. But uh, running the uh, that approach led me to believe that it's the wrong one because uh, I ran it through some experiments and it it didn't pan out okay what I did find out is this okay so I was uh, looking at my uh, cell phone one time right and I wanted to check the uh, weather so uh I went to uh, check the weather, okay, and I was, as I was going through the, the list here, this is what I found out, look, it's sunrise, how is it drawn, is it fully up or halfway up? So. Diyan na po nagtatapos ang aking maliit na presentation. And just a word uh, of advice or some last parting words. So, some parting words before I finish the video. Okay. Uh, it is about the truth. See, the many mysteries of truth are all right in front of us we just need to open an, uh, open our eyes and every now and then the truth will give out clues okay as to what the truth is all right mga katroba i'll see you later pahabol mga katropa check this out all right, so here we are in YouTube, and uh, we're going to listen to Nick uh, uh, explain the way he interprets the spring equinox. But as I fast forward this, and the sun... Okay, look at this snapshot, mga katropa. Di ba tumatama yung katawan ng araw doon sa due east? This is a spring equinox. See, obviously, Mr. Vanderland wouldn't see it because he is obviously reading it wrong. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you again for watching. Please support our channel by liking, subscribing now. It's free. Yeah, mga katropa, hanggang dito na lang. Like, share, and subscribe. 
Thank you.